Hello guys, this is Modest Major here bringing you some commentary over some Ricochet Dispatch gameplay. This commentary here has been one of the hardest commentaries I've ever had to record. Not really sure why, just don't think I have the right mindset for it right now. Uh, one of my previous commentaries, I ended up saying the word significant about a million times. And for some reason, I can't get that word out of my brain. When you commentate for a certain amount of time, you end up recycling words when you really don't want to. And it's becoming a little bit of an annoyance, and I'm sure some of you guys have picked up that I have like certain buzzwords that I love to insert when I want to describe excitement for something. Gotta stop it. Gotta. Uh, I should probably read a dictionary every day or something. That would probably uh, make me improve as a commentator, but who knows. Uh, so this gameplay in the background, um, this was the gameplay that actually made me start recording with my Elgato because unfortunately, as you can see there, I get betrayed by a unicorn. Unicorns might seem like friendly, innocent, you know, mythological creatures, but actually, they can and will betray you with a bolt shot at any time for your sniper rifle, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I had to stop using my theater because every so often, you know, two or three of my games have been lost or cut out because of a host change, uh, and I really don't want to end up losing any montage clips or gameplay, so I've started recording every game with my Elgato uh, just to be safe. So, and there's some really nice snipes at the end of this gameplay. I'm really, really happy that those snipes didn't get cut out. Only the end of the game did. I hope you guys believe me when I say we did win the game. It was like 180 to 50 or something at the end of the game. So, uh, unless we did something absolutely terrible, I think it was pretty much a guaranteed win at that point. Um, so, I had a topic that I wish to discuss with you guys today, and it was regarding... Uh, the idea of in-game callouts, and I briefly referenced this in one of my more recent videos, uh, just saying that I had a lot of respect for the people that could do it at a high level, and I still have that respect. Um, you know, it, it's kind of amazing listening to high-level callouts and seeing how they decipher and intercept the most important pieces of information at any given time and apply it to their own gameplay and they're able to cancel out what isn't the most important information uh, and this leads me to you know the idea of me playing with my teammates recently and one of the most frustrating things in the Halo community that happens on a regular basis and sometimes even puts me off the game altogether is when you have a player in your lobby that doesn't give callouts the respects I believe they deserve and I'm talking more about high level gameplay when you're trying to play semi-competitive, maybe uh, Team Throwdown or Team Slayer at a higher level, or maybe competitive customs. Um, one of the things that can really get me down is when a player is being super negative regarding their callouts. They're not necessarily trying to give you information about where the enemy team are, what their actions are, what their plans are, where they are in relation to your team. They're instead commentating their own gameplay, saying how frustrating it was that they were killed in this way, how frustrating it was that they were killed in this way. And it, it's so... It, it, it borders on selfish, and although it might feel really relieving to let some steam off and say, you know, well, that was such rubbish, like, how did that lag... There was lag, you know, how did he pull it off with that bolt shot? You know, sometimes you need that relievement, but I, I feel like you should turn your mic off at that point because, you know, it might just seem like that you're blowing off steam and it's not necessarily affecting anyone, but negativity spreads like wildfire, and I find myself so often in situations where I'm playing well, I'm having a good time, and I hear this constant negativity in my mic, and then I start applying it to my own gameplay. I'm like, you know, when I do get gain an eventual death, I'm like, oh, maybe he's right, maybe it is lagging, maybe this is rubbish, you know, I hate these players, and then you start getting frustrated, and that in turn spreads to another player on your team, and you've got to look from it, look at it from a selfless mindset. You've got to think, I want my team to win, I want my team to have a fun time, I want my team to have an easy time um, and at times it can really bring down my gameplay experience another thing is when players get frustrated with players on their team that aren't necessarily playing up to what they believe is par and get frustrated with them you know with some players that you know really well really inside out you know that they're not going to take offense to it but when it's playing with a new team and you're trying to point out criticisms and flaws with them 100 percent of the time i find that the most effective way to get through to someone that they're not playing as well is to almost give them the silent treatment to let them understand their mistakes uh, by thinking it through. You know, a lot of the time when a player is doing bad, what they need to do is they need to look inside themselves and try and change their mindset. Calling them out for doing this bad, this bad, this bad is just putting them under pressure and it's making them feel more vulnerable to making more mistakes. Whereas just saying, oh, you could have done a little bit better than that, but whatever, moving on, that makes them feel worse because it's like, you know, he's not being harsh to you, he's just making you think about your mistakes and he's giving you the room to think about your mistakes also. 
it kind of reminds me of the example of, you know, parents teaching children morals and teaching them lessons on how to become better behaved. They don't say fly off the handle at your kids because that causes them to act out in turn and to want to rebel against the system because it seems so oppressive. Whereas if you're, you know, coming to at them as if you were an equal and saying, ah, oh, you know, oh, unlucky, dude. You know, that makes them think like, oh, you know, like, they're actually nice guys. They're trying to help me out and yet... I just need to improve my gameplay in that area. Um, you know, one of the worst problems that I think lower level players have is their mindset. Um, and I've noticed this plenty of times. And sometimes they just need to look inside themselves and try and improve their mindset, you know, on the spot. Uh, that's just how I see it. But anyway, I've been Wallace Major. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Peace out.